Good evening. Thank you for joining us at, at St. Andrew's Haunt Muskern for our night prayer. I hope you gain some comfort from the time that we spend together. We've got three readings. If you want to turn to them, they will be Psalm 61, uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verses 15 and 18, and John chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. So that's Psalm 61, Isaiah chapter 30, and John chapter 3. We'll begin by, this, by saying this sentence from Deuteronomy. The eternal God is your refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. So we'll spend just a moment reflecting on the day that we've had. Think of our successes. Think of the people we've spoken to. And the things that we didn't quite finish that we'll carry on with tomorrow. So in a moment, we're going to read Psalm 61. But before that, save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Psalm 61 is about a king in distress. We substitute the word king for leader. I think we could say that we have a lot of leaders in distress at the moment. Leaders of different countries, including our own. How are they going to protect the people from illness and still have a working economy afterwards? Puzzle to me. Leaders of businesses that have had to temporarily cease trading. Are they going to have problems keeping afloat when lockdown stops? Leaders of family who are worrying about feeding their loved ones and keeping them safe. There's always one that we can turn to for support and comfort. And David, the writer of the psalm, knows who that is and is encouraged. So let's take comfort knowing that God is always there for us in whatever circumstances we find ourselves. So Psalm 61. Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you, God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Increase the days of the king's life, his years for many generations. May he be enthroned in God's presence forever. Appoint your love and faithfulness to protect him. Then I will ever sing in praise of your name and fulfill my vows day after day. And let's join together in saying, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A couple of verses from Isaiah, chapter 30, and verses 15 and 18. This is what the Sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel, says. In repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength. But you would have none of it. And verse 18. 
Yet the Lord longs to be gracious to you. Therefore he will rise up to show you compassion. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all who wait for him. The New Testament way of putting these sentiments is summed up in John chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Knowing that we have a God with us, supporting, strengthening our spirit and encouraging us in, in great comfort, especially in, is, a, is a great comfort, especially in times of trouble. And I hope our leaders, leaders of the nation, leaders of businesses, leaders of family, I hope all can take comfort from knowing that God is there and willing to give comfort and support. And that leads us to a time of prayer. We begin with a prayer for this week. Almighty Father, who in your great mercy gladdened the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord, give us such knowledge of his presence with us that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life and serve you continually in righteousness and truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. I'll leave a short time after each prayer for you to offer your own thoughts to God. Let's bring to God those whom we know who are in distress because of circumstances. Remembering in particular the leaders of our nation or those in distress because of illness or those in distress because of finances. And a moment of quiet for your own prayer. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this night those who are ill or in pain or in distress of any kind, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. Comfort and heal them and restore them to health and strength through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. There are many laboratories that are working very hard to find a vaccine and treatment for COVID-19. Not just in this country, but across the world. Let's pray for them. There must be a great weight on their shoulders, knowing that the results of their research could save the lives of thousands and thousands of people. So a short time when we can say our own prayers. We ask, Lord, that you help those who are working methodically to find a vaccine. That you will help them to work carefully but quickly. They're working so much quicker than they have been able to with other viruses. And we thank you, Lord, for all the work that they're putting in. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, 
and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are weary, wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us in peace, and may your blessings be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us here for this short time of night prayer here at St Andrews. And you can join us for a short time of worship every day at 9am and 7pm, except Sunday when there's a full service at 10am rather than 9am. Thank you again. Good night. God bless.